I'm just waiting. This is this is the best time I've had waiting ever. Ever? Yeah. You're gonna be waiting for a while before you start to have noticeable effects. Probably thirty minutes, I would say. But then again, you don't have any context for this because you've never altered your mind ever. No. Why? I don't know, most people when they you know they start out on weed, and weed is just like, whoa, I'm altering my mind. And like it's not a very intense mind alteration, you know. No. It's just the fact that this is a new experience of altering your mind is very intense for them. LSD, on the other hand, very alters your mind. My mouth is really pretty. Is it? Yeah. That'd be a good quality if I wanted to get below jobs. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Um, I produce a very healthy supply phone. <laughs> what I would say, the first effects that I noticed the first couple times that I did LSD. Oh, the visual? Yeah. You know the, um, the sensation that you get when a, when a picture frame is... Uh, this is going to go on for nine hours. Yeah. When a picture frame is not... Mm -hmm. Level? Yeah. It's kind of that, except everything looks that mean, way. You mean everything looks on level? No, n not necessarily on level. But you, you know the sensation that happens in your brain when you see something like a picture frame that isn't tilted right there. You have to... I don't have one. You don't have one? <laughs> no. Maybe you inherited your father's. Maybe. Isn't, is there anything in your life where an experience where something is 99% correct and 1% incorrect bugs you when you wish to go correct it. I don't know about that. You don't? No. Alright. I... This was the beginning of how Inception changed my life. Uh oh. Uh, I, have, I haven't told you the story. This is one of the stories I would tell you. I have to, I, you have told it to me, yes. Okay. Well, you know what? The 7-Eleven thing. Yeah. And just that, uh, that increased, uh, you know, non-worry yeah. of uh, kind of putting my social vetoing power away. And it was, it, was, it, was, it was good because everybody had already known me for a while. If I was new, there would have been a problem. Yeah. <laughs> and I would have had to turn that part of me off because that would be, you know, that would be a loss to me. But I was in good enough company that they were okay with it. And... Uh, I got much closer to Ivy that way, with my, uh, you know, the things that I would say and do, and I was I was very open and uh, shameless and all these things. And I think that was a big part of what she later did. Now, now you don't know this. I mean, this is one of the stories that I told a bunch of people. I told Jenny this at the airport. That when I was telling Jenny this at the airport, that's how I knew another guy. I find that. Interesting things that happen tend to yield more interesting things just by telling the story because other people will become more interested in you. Right. Because something interesting happened. Right. So I was on the phone in uh, Chicago, you know, sitting next to this guy, and uh, I was telling her how I missed my flight. I thought it was at 7 a.m., it was actually at 4 a.m. Whoops! And so I was there all day, and I was telling her how, you know, about the school and what happened last night. And I was just describing it. So, you know, I go to bed and then I get this knocking at the door. And I open the door and I say, well, this is a nice surprise. Or something like that. Steve actually commented on the smoothness of whatever I said. <laughs> alright, alright. And uh, she, she came in there wanting to sleep with me. And at that point, the guy next to me was... <laughs> uh, he had some reaction. I don't remember if it was... He was listening. He'd been listening the whole time. Alright. And uh, and then after I t finished talking to Jenny, I started talking to him. Actually, I started involving him in the conversation. <laughs> so it was a three-way conversation. But the guy, the guy turned out to be a film buff. Right. You know about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, that happened. But you know, Ivy came in there in her tiny dress, and uh, but when I say sleep, I mean sleep. She, she the just... The biblical sense of the word? Or... Should I disappear? No.
pricers. Oh, okay. I've never had that happen before. It happens in this neighborhood <laughs> relatively often. We have lots of okay. seven to eleven people. Oh. Yeah, I noticed in your neighborhood people walk around <laughs> and this was, this used to be common behavior, but they walk around and they don't look at each other and they don't wave to each other, they don't say hello. Yeah. I remember that being common in, you know, suburbia. In where I live now, people always wave. Or they say, Hey, you know? Yeah. Or, and even if they don't, it's still normal. But here, it's different. There's pains taken to not interact yeah, with other people. Exactly. And that's one of the, one, one of the great things I noticed about, um, uh, smoke more? Yeah. Okay. This is going to be distracting. You should tell me if... What's distracting? Me repeatedly going after smoke. No. Sorry. No. Are we going? Yeah, yeah. I think it's fascinating, sort of. Oh, I should get my cup. Oh, yeah. Like when I go to Walmart or you know whatever that type of store. Hold that. It's the only place in all of history. Mm -hmm. I think. All of history. All of history. Does all this include the future? No, in, right. in the past. Okay, right. in human history. History implies the past. I know it does, but usually when people say history, they mean like, I don't know. This is a singular event that has never happened before and never will happen ever oh, okay. again. When I say history, I mean the past. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Uh, what does history mean in Latin? In Latin? Yeah. Um, Histor? History means past. Okay. People who are hysterical are... Uh, now, does the change in spelling mean anything, or is... Uh, yeah, it's the, the, it, it's the same word. Okay. Different declension of the noun. But in Walmart, everybody, there, there's tons of people come to the same place from all around, from all around. And they come to that place, and they never talk to each other. Who the fuck is that? You okay? Well, I mean, there's a person standing there. Oh, there's a person standing there. Who's here? You don't know who this is? I mean, I know who you are. Who did you bring with you? I bought somebody. Did you? Maybe you did. Maybe. Should I check? I mean, I think, I believe... I yeah, based on his reaction, yeah. there's nobody there. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, when you said that, I was gonna... What's up? What's up, man? How much? Did you see what you got a present? No. Brought you a present. You brought me a present? Yeah. It was not pranksters at the door. Yeah, you didn't notice that. Alright. Do you see what was at the door? No, I didn't. Go check. There is a person here. Why are these people here? Yeah, what what is going on? There's a line, dude. What? There's a line. Let's go. Dude, why are you people here? <laughs> we didn't have anything to do before we came, so we just like stopped by. You took him back up? Oh, you're stopping by? No, it's just, oh, yeah. You did see it. Yeah, I assume yeah. so. Yeah. Tony and Cody? Yeah. What's up, man? Alright, heard about you. I'm sure you're good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. This is some killer acid. Life's Walmart people. Yeah. Should we just continue? I don't think so. Okay. This is coming from you. This is a person that is like not even like a smoker at all. So I mean, I can see. Yeah, this is a non drug seeking behavior. This is this is experience seeking over here. This is unbiased right here. I won't lie, the first time I did acid, I was drug seeking. Oh. What are your methods, Mac? Like, or. If you don't smoke, if you don't seek the feeling of being in a different mindset or escaping a normal mindset, then why would you do acid? John, do you want to answer that? It's Explain that to Tony. It's a new experience that's completely unlike anything he's ever done. By saying before. that, something else has to exist further than just being... If his original up. motivation were to seek out new experiences, that wouldn't lead him to drugs as quickly as it led us. But it would lead him to acid at some point, yeah. and that point's now. See. Are you compelled to going against massive? I'm good. He doesn't have the same seeking mechanism I have. Yeah. You'll yeah. discover it later. Yeah. College. <laughs> you can discover it at like 10 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And, and if you're not sure of yourself, stick to inaction because that's always okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Could you Tony, maybe hmm. what do you think of me? Kind of... Pretty cool so far. Yeah? Yeah. Anything else other than cool? You know, that's pretty... You like recording. 
Yeah. First time or trying stuff out. Okay. You're open minded. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. There should be a, a an incline. No matter how no matter what the uh slope is. It's been an hour. How many did you take? One. one. But this new stuff. Yeah, it's well, one's capable for sure. I'm on one right now, I'm fucked up. But that's beside the point. I've noticed that like I don't know, being relaxed helps a lot. It's like I don't know, that's another side effect of being high. I, I, I mean I mean it's been an hour, there's nothing. Yeah, I know, but I mean you don't just don't discourage yourself because it okay. varies a lot. Yeah. I I but okay. If an hour from I mean the actual If an hour from, from now, then what? a 12-hour trip that you have initiated. Like, an hour, I mean, it's... You know, We're talking about less than 10% of the total time. Like, this is still within the range on the outsides. Uh -huh. And this is... You're still below the median. Yeah. Like, all the acid I've done, I've had acid... Like, that first time, I thought it was bunk, because I was two hours into it and didn't <laughs> feel anything. And then I took three more hits, and that was such a bad idea. I think it might hit him like a brick wall, just kind of all of a sudden. I mean, that's what happened to me. Yeah. It's it happened to me before. When you pee today, it'd be crazy. In general, just don't, don't think discouraging thoughts. Yeah. Like that. You think that that has an effect no, on what will happen? I'm saying that it's useless. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't being discouraging. Okay. Just mathematical, you might say. I got you. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, Let's go get some acid, man. <laughs> Why, Tony? Why don't you want to do it, man? Like, you should get it. In this, this is a really good batch. You should get it and save it. I mean, in your freezer. Yeah. If you yeah, freeze it, nobody no. would ever, you know. Do you go get a cup of ice and then? Do you have like a fan in your room? <laughs> I mean, an apparatus that he has to store it in for like I mean, until he decides to use it. That could be like a month. But you might not. This is a lot of work. You're not making this easy, dude. You need to figure out things. Hmm. You need to figure things out. <laughs> I gotta figure out. I'm not doing that. No, that I no. I don't mean this. I mean in general. Like you gotta make sure that nobody can convince you of something that. And that you not. that you're not sure you would want to Come do. Oh, Tony! Not <laughs> happening. Why? Extra. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. that I, was... I I may be predisposed to bruxism. All right. My jaw is really full of tension right now. All right. I need to get a jaw massage, man. Would you like some gum? No. Yeah, I think there's definitely more tenseness. Huh? I think I'm. My muscles are more tense. Then they would you want be. Them to close or yes. Closed? Yeah, I forgot about that. The tenseness of muscles. Yeah. That was the first thing that I noticed the first time that I did that. <laughs> I completely disregarded that now, but now I remember it. I lied in bed, was like, I'm really fucking tense. <laughs> Why am I not seeing shit? <laughs> what? You sit like L. <laughs> <laughs> This is something that I, I wanted to point out the last time you sat like that, and the time before that. Yeah, okay. And I didn't... Why do you sit like that? Is it comfortable? Yeah. That's interesting. I've never sat like that. I, I never... My brain would never think that that's what it's for. <laughs> like... <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to say anything negative. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just like... Yeah. My brain... Pretty natural. I don't know. I don't... I wouldn't do that. Why do you do it? What made you... Man, my jaw has a lot of tension in it. <laughs> I th maybe, when can we go back inside? Right now. I think it'd be better to be warm. Warm? Because to be cold adds... Adds tension. Yeah.